Hi gang, I'm John McCrick. We've had the international break. We're back to the serious business, the Premier League and Newcastle now, who's bottom of it. Unbelievable. Even soppy Sunderland above us and just above us too, we got the villa. What a terrible, terrible time we're in. And the game coming up is against Norwich. Now look how we have played in the past. Against Chelsea, a 2-2 draw against Chelsea. We did really well to get the draw. They didn't play very well, but 2-2 really acceptable. Mourinho, six visits to St James's Park and he's never won. So that, that gave us a lot of hope. Against Manchester City, scored first. Absolutely sort of an amazing goal. It really hopes that we rise and we get, we get going with that. It's 1-0 until three or four minutes before the interval at the Etihad, of course, where they always slam us at the Etihad. We never get a result there. They equalise. And then the second half, you remember, Aguero with five goals to Silva. Silva was magnificent. De Bruyne can play quite a bit as well. It, is, it was absolutely... So looking at the first half at the Etihad, it gives us some hope. That's our trouble. We've got little flickers of hope that we've got. Look, but look at it. The worst start, as they said, on Sky Sports, I think, in 117 years. We've never had a worse start. But after all the games we play, we just got um, three points. So it is really absolutely desperate. And we've got Norwich coming up. And the Canaries are playing really well, away as well as at home. Really tough, hard game. But a game that we would have to win in normal circumstances at home against Norwich are a good side, but we should be able to beat them. So we've got a really hopeful result. that we and One win could turn things around, because the game after that, of course, is Soppy Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. But, oh, well, you know, the rivalry up there, and, and they've, they've won, I think, the last three against us. Sunderland are beating us. It shows how bad, you know, the suffering I've been going through. So it is absolutely appalling that we're in the relegation dogfight, or we're looking now at the results, not only our own, but how teams like Bournemouth and Watford and Villa and, and um, Sunderland go. It is absolutely terrible having to sort of endure all this. All the joy's gone out of the whole season. So you're the sort of the build-up you have and the hopes and you may get in the top six or the top five. Whatever it is, all that's gone. It's now just a question of survival. Steve McLaren... Well, you know, you start to give his a record of pulling the, the, at the end of last season when Derby collapsed under him and the start that we've had. As I keep on saying, you can't blame Mike Ashley. £50 million he's gone and spent on players. So you can't go and blame him. I think I, think I have to be telling you the truth. I think the only solution you could have got, the long-term solution that would delight the fans, would be to bring my good self in as director of football. That's what I like, director of football. And Alan Shearer, big Al, he would be the manager. So myself and uh, Alan Shearer in the dugout. The fans would love it. They know one of theirs was amongst them, looking after them. And who's got the interest of the two more at heart and can bring the outside world to look at the club? And to really, with my knowledge of football, my in-depth understanding of the game, wouldn't it be fantastic? Wouldn't all the Toon Army rise up in celebration and hosannas? There'd be parades in the street to welcome me in. And I sort of cheered everywhere I went. And I'd be, get him off. I'd be in, in the dugout. No, he's no good. I don't want him. You can come on. Get on. I, I'd be absolutely brilliant at that. So make me director of football. And that's the obvious answer, along with Alan Shearer, who's an obvious legend up there, despite... He's nominally in charge when we went down a couple of seasons ago. So forget that. I think I should be director of football with Alan Shearer. And we've really got to hope for a result. Norwich is so important on Saturday, Norwich. If we can get a win against them, suddenly hope suddenly starts stirring again. And then, of course, Soppy Sunderland. Well, just imagine one thing. Imagine we lose both to Norwich and to Soppy Sunderland. Where are we? We're stranded right at the bottom, absolutely out of touch of, of all the teams, uh, of the teams above us. It, it then becomes a desperate dogfight. It would be huge odds on to be relegated. The tune to go down, I just can't go on like this. So, hope eternal. We just away the lads, that's all we can say. Norwich and Sunderland, just watch it. I'm coming up. I'm going to be director of football. Six points off Norwich and Sobby Sunderland. Away the lads!